Okay, so that was that. Let's see who else we've got. We've got um, Italy versus the Austro-Hungarians. Let's design a ship, and it starts within a thousand meters. Hmm, not the hull I was expecting, but that is the hull we are getting. So what happens if I just make this as big as possible? I don't really want it to be fast. Range can be short. Bulkhead standard. And this ship is to be better than the previous one because I don't think there is a spending limit. So we can really literally just make these things as good as possible. 100% fuel efficiency already. I don't believe there is a spending limit. Secondary guns. Can't really squeeze this in anywhere. Two inches, maybe. Like that there. But they get in the way of the main guns, so. Nope, nope to that. Casemate guns, six inch. They can fit there like that. Five inches, no place for fives. Four inches. Plop those in. Three inches anywhere? And then the twos. Anywhere for the twos? Nope. Nowhere for the twos. Torpedo launchers, of course. Let's just spend all the money. It's a basic engine. Nothing special there. Barbette 1. Single bottom. Citadel 1. Nothing there. Compound. Ship is overweight. Yes, tonnage. Tonnage is a factor. Hmm. Now we probably don't need the a three inch deck. We can take that off. Bring it down to 1.5. Not quite so overweight anymore. There we go. Uh, that's the biggest torpedo. Standard load. All we have is black powder. Standard reloading. That'll increase the weight. What is the reload speed of our 12 inch guns? <laughs> what is it without that? Uh, 93 seconds. With enhanced, it's 83 seconds. Oof, just slightly. Uh, conning tower? There we go. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And the speed is a whopping 15 knots. So, I think this will be entertaining enough. Launch. Battleship versus battleship. That is an interesting way to start. Start with its arse facing me. Really? Really, really. And so that missed. Not a huge shocking surprise. Now that it's locked, we wait for this thing to reload in the 83 seconds it takes to reload.
And hopefully it reloads soon enough. Boom. Abysmal accuracy. They haven't hit yet either. And that missed as well. Which is very good. How fast is this guy? 17 knots. Oh, is he going to run away? Oh, main tower is on fire. Nope, we missed again. It's on fire, but it's not doing it that much. So just full speed everything. No reason to do anything else. Oof, damage funnels and a little bit of flooding. Can we get a hit like that, too? No. No, we can't. Look at that. The cannon shells... Hot. Look how much flooding that's causing. Ten percent chance to hit. No, we're not flooding anymore. Nope, no hit from that. Was that all the guns? It seems like it was all the guns. Ah. Engine one damaged. There is so much luck involved. And more flooding, so we're going to flood down without causing major damage. Just short. Come on. Yeah, sometimes bigger is not better. Oh, we're pumping out the front. That's good. And damage main gun, fire. Gun fires just doesn't even hit. I should just assume the main gun's never gonna hit. Damage the main tower, but we're pumping everything out, so we're recovering from the flooding. Oh, we hit! Destroyed a casemate. So our speed is recovering now that the flooding has been taken care of, so you can go down to like the brink of death and recover, depending on what the damage is. We just can't hit for crap. Which is unfortunate. Uh, quite unfortunate. But hey, we fire again. Don't do anything. Good job. They fire their 8 inch guns, take out an engine, and we start flooding again. Eh, still no hits. Destroyed casemate, fire. All three engines are out. We have no forward heading. We are completely dead in the water. And again, we miss. I don't think... No, we've landed one 12-inch gun hit. And we're probably not going to be able to get our engines working again. Because it looks like those... Um, nope, we're recovering from the flooding. Yeah, no hit there. And we are f making some headway again. Limited headway. We're back up to 72, 75% flotation. 
and we've hit them. Overpen somehow. Just leave the rudder hard to pull to uh, starboard and fire the main guns and miss again. Boy, these early fights. Huh. Oof. Well, we're flooding again. Oh, it's like so close each time, but then it doesn't hit. Yeah, and there's the flooding. Every time we flood, we flood to like three compartments. But this time I didn't knock out all the engines. Just most of them. Fire! And... Duh. Come on. We're just kind of like spinning on sight now. 35 again. And main guns firing. Ah, now we've got the chance to hit you. And take your engines out. As we recover from our flooding, we're at 44, 45, 46, up to 50% now. So yeah, we're able to keep recovering over and over again. 70%. They're recovering from their flooding as well. Good for them. We just keep doing circles around each other. Those missed. 90%. What's your armor? 12.3 inches. Ah, uh, more misses. But this one's lasting, this fight's lasting longer than the other one. Six inches are doing the damage now. now those twelves are certainly not hitting ever. Missed again. As we just sail around each other in circles. Ah, more misses. Ah, welcome to... Oof, that was a better hit, but it didn't do anything. Welcome to turn of the century Navy combat. Oh, there's a hit. Only one, though. More flooding on their part. Oh, they don't actually have torpedoes. Oh, wow. Yeah, but that flooding's going to be recovered. So. Or not. Or not. That doesn't look very good. We might have just gotten them. Destroyed casemate. Ah, another hit. Damage is more severe now. Flotation's down to 14%. They'll probably recover, though. Yeah, they're hovering around 14-15%. I think they're pretty much dead in the water now. Well, let's see. 4.1 knots. So they're not quite dead in the water. Oh, convenient. That's got enough room to turn all the way around. Yeah, he's getting his speed back up and recovering from the flood. turning, trying to get the 10 inch, you know, 12 inch guns to actually hit more reliably. Ah, uh, not quite. So the stern turrets are in a position where they can fire, because they did fire. Kind of 
kind of trying to get torpedoes in, into play here. And we might just be able to do that. There we go. Torpedoes are now away. What is the enemy going to do? Because the guns don't do that much. But the torpedoes will do stuff. Three torpedoes spread. Do they all hit? Yes! And there goes the bottom, right out from under him. And he goes down. There we go. Eh, uh, not play again. So that was interesting enough. A little bit of maneuvering that one. The early Navy battles are kind of more fun in that regard. So let's try another one. Thank you all for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to hit that stupid little bell thing that YouTube has added, because otherwise you won't get notifications of any new videos if you su subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter, at GenJeft, as I always have my video updates on there, so you will never miss a video if you're on my Twitter feed, because they'll all be posted. And any other dumbass comment I make as well. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.